Hello friends. We are continuing with more texture projects. Mrs. McKinney was on a big texture kick when I started creating projects for us for this rotation. Um, I just love texture. I think it adds so much to a picture. I think um, it's very easy to do. It's fun and it's just a good use of element, the elements of our of line and texture. And I just, I really kind of dig it. So today we are gonna make um, an ocean with a tiny little sailboat. <laughs> so you guys may use markers or crayons or a pencil if you wanna start, whatever you wanna start with. And we're gonna start at the very top by drawing our little sailboat, our sailboat that is out in the ocean. And we are gonna start by making a horizontal line across, two diagonal lines going down, and then a horizontal line across. And you can color that in. And that's gonna become our boat. And then we are going to make a rectangle pole. And you're gonna color that in. And then we're gonna make a triangle for the sail. And there's our little sailboat. Okay. So now comes the fun part where we get to draw the ocean. Okay, so we are gonna come in here and I'm gonna go ahead and just use my blue marker, but you guys can start with the pencil if you want to. And we are gonna start by making the top layer and I'm gonna make this one look like ocean waves. Now, I wanna make sure that it looks like my boat is like on the water, so I wanna make sure that I um, draw a wave close enough to the boat. There we go, I'm gonna make it a little bit more vibrant for that top row. Okay, and now we get to just draw some different types of lines. There is no right or wrong way to do this. I'm just gonna draw a wavy line. I think I'm gonna come in here and draw kind of a line that has some dips. I could draw a line that has some zigzags. I could draw a line that has funny zigzags. And then maybe just another swirly, curvy line. Okay, so that gave me some areas to work with. And then now I am going to start filling my areas in with different textures. Okay. It doesn't matter if you start at the bottom or start at the top. You are going to use different textures for each area. Now, the one I make today is not going to look just like the one I have as my sample, and that's totally fine. I am going to start by making these rainbow shapes. And I am just going to have them kind of grow off of each other. These are curved lines. This would be bumpy, but... It's not a picture of something, they're just random lines. Just lots of curved lines. And this gives me the element of art of, um, I'm sorry, texture. It gives me um, a bumpy texture. Now I could make them closer together. I could make them further apart. It's whatever you want to do. And that is totally fine. And you can make them thin, you can make them thick. It is your call, friends. You just wanna fill the entire area in so it's full of that texture. Okay, so on this one, I think I'm gonna do kind of a wobbly checkerboard. So I'm just kind of making some loosey-goosey lines and I'm gonna draw a few lines here. And then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna do X's and spirals, X's and spiral, X, spiral, X, spiral. So um, this would be sharp because it has the point and then the spiral would be bumpy because it is curvy. So I'm just kind of making a pattern. This one's kind of fun to do just because it's simple. And I just do it until I run out of room. Okay, um, 
I think on this one, I'm gonna do some squiggly lines going up and down. So I think I'm just gonna kind of do this. So this would be a bumpy texture because I'm making the, um, the lines curved. They're not pointy, there's no sharp edges. If I wanted to make it sharp, I would make sure that I had um, like points and they'd be more triangle-like and less um, curvy. So bumpy and sharp are the most common textures and they're created again by um, smooth curvy lines um, or rounded lines for um, bumpy and then pointy sharp lines for sharp. Okay, um, I feel like I'm gonna do Ooh, I'm gonna do um, loops like this, kind of like it's um, like mermaid scale, fish scale. So this is like I'm making a U shape over and over again. And then I'm gonna come in here. Now I feel like I'm just making Ws. But this is definitely a bumpy texture. And I'm just gonna keep going until I run out of room. Now over here, I'm running out of room a little bit. So I'm just gonna finish this section up. And then same thing here, I'm gonna kinda just work with what I have. Now, this one I had a little bit more room, so I'm gonna make those smaller and do another row. There we go. Okay, I feel like I need um, some sharp textures. So we are gonna do some zigzag lines in this area. Now, zigzag means they have points. Points mean they are sharp. So this is a sharp texture that I am working on right now. Do, 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 do. The difference is when I do sharp texture, I have that point. They're perfect like pointy triangle shapes, whereas with like bumpy, they're more rounded and um, hill-like. Okay, and then I think I'm going to finish the bottom by doing these um, like curved lines here. They kind of remind me of um, like eyeball shapes or like um, a leaf shape or maybe even like a football shape. So they're curved lines here because they're rounded. I'm going to fill that all the way across. And then I am gonna go ahead and put an X inside of these to give them a sharp texture as well. So it's a combination of the two. Now friends, I used a skinny marker on this part, but you could have used a crayon, a colored pencil, a marker, your call. So the end result, we will have a sailboat floating on a wave and our wave is, our ocean then is full of different layers of waves um, showing different textures. All right, so I hope you have some fun with this one. I cannot wait to see the end result and I will see you guys next time. Bye.